Hey, this is Brian Hoops with Midwest Market Solutions and our Market Insider Market News. It is Thursday. It is February the 20th. Hope you're having a great day. Big sell-off in the stock market here, and everyone's kind of scratching their heads wondering what's going on. It looks like it was a lot of algorithm-type trades that uh, came into this market, and we have an outside day lower going now. Normally, those are not major uh, turning points in the market, so you can ignore that. But if we have an outside week or something like that, We'll have to start paying attention a little bit closer to a potential top. But the fundamentals uh, in this market are, are extremely bullish yet for the stock market. And I can't imagine that we're peaking at this time. But we could certainly have some corrections, which will prove as buying opportunities. All right, in the grain and livestock trade today, uh, the grain market's just marking time. It looks like uh, options that go off the board tomorrow, the 380 strike in March corn, and the 980 strike in March soybeans, that's where most of these calls puts are going to expire worthless. And I think the market's just going to hover right around that area. Um, we don't have export sales this morning. They'll be delayed until tomorrow because of Monday's holiday. And the Ag Outlook Conference that's underway, uh, the trade estimates just nailed the uh, planted acreage numbers. Corn acres looks to be about 2 million more than last year at uh, 94 million. Last year at the Outlook form, they were projecting 92 million. Soybeans, 85 million last year, 85 million this year. And the wheat's going to be down from last year. Last year was at 47 million, and this year USDA says 45.2. Now, there's a lot of confusion and um, misunderstanding about some of these numbers. When you look at the final acreage numbers last year, it was because of Prevent Plant that we saw such a reduced amount of acres, almost 19 million acres. So it doesn't you know, on the surface, it may appear USDA is finding all these acres that came out of nowhere. But in reality, the acres that they're saying today are not even as large as 2015 and 18 planted acres. So um, we are not finding more acres. These are acres that were set into prevent plant. Now, I do think we'll see a little bit more prevent plant in 2020 this year uh, than what is being anticipated right now. We're just not going to put all these acres that were unplanted last year back into production. Cattle futures selling off a little bit uh, here. Weakness as the cattle on feed report uh, will be out tomorrow, and we're looking for a little bit of a bearish number. Have a great day. This has been Brian Hoops.